German Chancellor Angela Merkel suffered more political turmoil within her coalition as her deputy stepped down as head of his party. German Foreign Minister Guido Westerwelle has announced that he was stepping down from his role as the leader of the Free Democratic Party. This comes after heavy criticism following his party's results in recent state elections. There is no need to embellish the truth. This day is utterly disappointing for the Liberals, for the FDP. We now need to draw the conclusions of this defeat. In September 2009, the Free Democrats became part of the government coalition with record votes, promising to lower taxes. This promise, though, was never met. If Philipp Rösler, current health minister, is announced to become his successor, he will also assume the role of vice-chancellor, a post that Westerwelle has agreed to step down from too. Another contender for the post is 32-year-old Christian Lindner, a much more well-known politician who is currently the party's secretary-general. It is unquestionable that the FDP is currently in a difficult situation and this is why a new course has been taken, initiated by Guido Westerwelle himself. The Liberals are now focusing on strengthening their political message and reshuffling their personnel. The problems they are facing, though, is that the party is lacking natural strong successes and that the opposition wants Westerwelle to resign as a foreign minister as well. How can a politician who has lost all authority in his own party, who the population does not accept as foreign minister, continue to believe he can represent Germany in foreign affairs? His departure is now raising questions as to the future of the FDP in a difficult political climate, leaving Chancellor Merkel very much alone at the top. As voter support for the anti-nuclear Greens surged during state elections on the 27th of March, Merkel's coalition partner, pro-business Free Democrats, suffered their worst results in Baden-Württemberg and failed to get into Parliament of Rhineland-Palatine. Joanna Le Monnier, Press TV, Berlin.